Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush the Game. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series because I know I have and I also have a very good feeling about today. We have $279,000. I did not uh, purchase um, any uh, machinery yet. Uh, I was going to wait. Now the reason I was going to wait was is because I want to get uh, a little bit more money. Uh, in, in, in terms of that, I wanted to um, just get some gold, you know, uh, and try to uh, get all that squared away. And then I want to go get the, uh, the front loader. Now, the reason I want to get the front loader, as per usual, is uh, because we've been talking about it for a little while. And uh, I think today is uh, the day that I want to get it. So, what is that going to entail? Well, right now, the way we're digging this pit claim deal, you want to, whatever you want to call it, the way we've been doing it, we have been uh, basically getting pretty much all the top soil, uh, all the top dirt and, and stuff like that. And so my theory is, is that if we can get deeper, like all of this bottom dirt that we're not necessarily reaching, if we can get that, theoretically, we'll get more gold. Uh, plus the um, front loader, I do believe, will make it faster, uh, not only for cleanup, but also for uh, getting rid of this dirt. So we will be running all of the dirt, uh, or at least most of it. Uh, we have to have $1.2 million for, um, uh, for what? $1.2 million for the new claim. Uh, and I'm hoping that we have enough dirt for that. I do believe we should. Um, but of course, you know, time, that's going to be a little bit of time. So I'm hoping the front loader isn't too terribly expensive. And I'm hoping that we can go out and get it today. Uh, after we uh, do the clean out and smelt the gold. I'm really hoping so. Um, but as soon as, like I said, as soon as we get the, uh, the front loader and clean stuff up, I'm really going to try to get the new claim. Uh, I know that we should pay the, uh, the rent and get the machinery back, or, uh, well, at least get the machinery um, that we're renting and uh, not rent anymore. But I think um, if we can get... Now, it, like I said, it's kind of cheating, okay? Uh, but I think if we can get River Valley, uh, we can get... Or River Town, I think it is. Not River Valley. River Town. If we can get that, then we can drill it, and we'll have a ton of gold. Now, that's because of nuggets. Now, technically, that is cheating, but technically, it's part of the game. So, I know it... Uh, I know, like... PS4 and Xbox and stuff don't have nuggets, but we do. So, is it cheating? Is it not? Hard to say. Uh, but whether the case, I want to uh, get the front loader and start cleaning it up. Like I said, I know we've been battling it uh, back and forth, but I think now is the time. So I think this is the last truck, or at least I do believe so. As you can tell, we've pretty much got, well, we have a big pile here, and I'm hoping this is flat enough to get the front loader in there and uh, all that squared away, and of course we'll see here, let's see, that is 82%, this may be the last truck load, I know it it's about 18% uh, per truck, so just in case, we'll, we'll dump this truck and then we'll start um, loading it up again no matter what. So then, whether the case or not, we'll ha be ready for next episode, at least one truck. Now, of course, like I've been saying all week, we should, when you're seeing this next week on Monday, I'll be starting my new job. So we're going to be trying to do everything we can to stay um, to stay ahead of the game. Uh, and, and just like I was saying, I'm going to try to make as, much, as many videos as humanly possible. Uh, they may be shorter, they may not be, you know, up to uh, up to par, um, like the content we have now, uh, and that is, and you know, hopefully, uh, just a little bit until we uh, can figure out, um, you know, getting used to everything. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys understand 
um, you know, instead of just an easy 40 hour week, we're going to go to 50 to 60. So it's going to be a uh, 20 hour jump, 10 to 20 hour jump. And, uh, you know, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. Uh, so, like I said, the videos may take uh, a step back in priority, uh, but hopefully we can uh, continue to, uh, you know, make progress and stuff like that and uh, go from there. So, like I said, hopefully you guys understand and, and so on. But that's the plan for now. Um, anyway, with that being said, let's fill this truck up. What? Planter. I don't know what a planter is. I don't know. I think that's maybe like the duplex jig, but the next step. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Like I said, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Today is the 15th of July. Um, like I said, we just got back from camping. We went over there for four days. We went out, or well, technically five. We left on Sunday, went over to the coast, and... Uh, got back on Thursday and uh, so Sunday to Thursday so that's five days for or yeah five days five nights I guess technically anyway whatever it was it was a nice trip nice trip we're gonna go back in August on the 13th I think 13th to 20th and uh, then we'll be done for the year of uh, vacations or whatnot or like extended vacations so with all that being said um, you know, it was very much needed. Like I said, I haven't had many vacations. Like, I've not, this is the first year I've actually had vacations in probably close to three to five years. It's been it's been very long time. So the fact that we got to go and, and everybody um, that has been... Oops. Everybody that's been hanging out and, and letting us um, go camping and stuff like that, you know, I do appreciate it. And everybody that's been watching the videos and, and uh, liking, commenting, and everything else, of course, that uh, that helps out a lot. Um, but anyway, with all that being said, um, once again, just thank you all. Um, and then, like, hopefully everything will be fine. Uh, I may try to uh, record a little bit um, when I'm um, out working. Uh, if I can get my GoPro and find it and uh, get all that fun stuff squared away. You know, maybe we can uh, get something going. Um, but uh, with all that being said, of course, you know, it, it will just take some time. So we have some plans. Of course, you know, I always have plans. Uh, and uh, some fall through, some don't. So we, uh, we'll just try to do our best, and that's all we can do. So um, hopefully you buckle up and enjoy the ride. So we did run out of fuel. Uh, we were in that back corner there, um, and, and we ran out of fuel. And, oh, come on. So then I had to refuel, so I used half of the damn fuel tank. And I still haven't got that um, bulk tank, that green bulk tank yet. And it's only like 24,000, but haven't gotten it yet just because I eh, haven't needed it yet. We've been running the town a lot and, and uh, so on and so forth. So didn't feel like I needed it too bad yet. Um, but it is also a good feeling. How many? How many? Uh, go. Nope. One more. It is a good feeling that uh, we have uh, a few hundred thousand under the belt. You know, uh, two hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars definitely isn't nothing to shake a stick at, and uh, it's a good feeling to have. Now, hopefully, we can just keep growing that instead of spending all the money. And of course, that includes um, rent and everything else. So that—that's what's basically hard about this whole thing is trying not to spend too terribly much money. Uh, everything right now has been going smoothly uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, pretty much everything. So we're just been, we just been digging and uh, getting things squared away. So let's turn that off. Let's turn that on. We'll break this up. There we go. But I probably should get rid of that. I mean, let's be honest. Are we ever going to use it? I'm not for sure. There we go. My wife just got home, so she just took the pup outside. And uh, he's been doing good, too. He, he bit me this morning, or a little earlier, but I was roughhousing with him. Boy, how did he... His teeth are sharp. Sharp as hell. But, yeah, he got me right on my... Right between my thumb and my 
my uh, pointer finger like right at the base and it doesn't feel too terribly well but uh, like I said he's still a pup you know rough housing with him that's that's what you're gonna get you play with the bull you're gonna get the horns so anyway but uh, yeah he's doing all right he uh, been sleeping most of the day we're trying to get him uh, used to um, like being in the kennel and whatnot when we're gone you know uh, we've been uh, we work 10 hour days you know and stuff like that and at least until he gets older and he can you know be out of the kennel and, and stuff like that like uh, I think I said this in earlier videos this week um, I've recorded all five today so I, I can't remember but uh, we have uh, a kennel and then like a, a play area um, which basically takes up the whole dining room so he, he's not you know locked up and, and can't move or anything he's just um, he's in the kennel and uh, the free or the pin thing right so he can't get out and destroy things when we're uh, at work and whatnot and taking him out every two hours anyway um, just trying not to make a mess <laughs> but uh, of course, you know, you can't watch them all the time, especially when we're recording and especially when you're, you know, doing chores and stuff like that. And uh, so, you know, we're just trying to do the best we can. And, uh, but yeah, he's, he's a good pup. He, uh, oh, come on. He doesn't bark too terribly much, you know. He uh, he barks when you rough house with him and, and stuff like that. But, I mean, hey, you can't complain about that. The... You know the puppy dog. What in the world? Oh my goodness! Did I? Yep, I did. Dang, gum it! I forgot him. Oh well, that's one bucket less. Shit. Oh well. Anyway, that sucks. Didn't even think about it. Apparently, I put the other four in and completely forgot the rest. No oh well. What can you do about it, right? Daggummit. That pisses you off a little bit. After you get so much all of this work and you look down, it's gray. Ah, oh, well. well. We'll lose a little bit of money, uh, but uh, ain't going to be too terribly bad. You know, it's just a, just a hog pan, but still going to cut probably a good four ounces or so, if I had to guess. Oh, well. Four grand out and... You know, what are you supposed to do? Nothing much you can do if you if you do it to yourself. There ain't much you can do. So, with that being said, sucks, but it is what it is. All right, let's start this bad machine up. There we go. Oh my goodness, I've been I've been tired today. Not sure why. Ever since we got back from camping, we just been tired. We, uh, what, what's, what's been the funniest, uh, or, yeah, the funniest, I guess that's the word. What's been the funniest part about it is, is that, uh, I think I talked about it earlier, but, of course, like I said, I can't remember what I said ten minutes ago, so, uh, we, uh, so we went camping, and, uh, you know, we had an air mattress, and, and, uh, we got this, um, four-inch foam pad, you know, and, uh, trying to glamp a little bit. And uh, everything was fine, you know, the air mattress was, you know, we thought was in good condition and stuff like that. We pumped that son of a gun up first day, and uh, we got in the tent, and all of a sudden it was practically deflated. I was like, well, what the hell? I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe it's maybe it's the air, you know, the air temp, you know, you, you put it in hot and, and uh, or cold, and, and then, you know, it, it got hot and it lost some air pressure, you know, no big deal. And so the wife, you know, she uh, she blew it back up, and we laid on it with, when we was going to bed. And 10, 15 minutes later, that some gun was flatter than a pancake. And we're like, son of a bitch. You know, we, uh, and, and even with the pad on top of it, it was just, you were laying straight on the ground. And it was like, man, this is comfy, isn't it? But uh, like I said, oh, well, it wasn't too bad. Where is that sixth one there it is uh, but yeah it, like I said it wasn't too bad it was just uh, daggum it you know we come out here and try to be all comfy and whatnot, and 
It ain't very. <laughs> so, but yeah, we survived, you know, and just slept on the ground basically all week. And other than that foam pad, and, and uh, did all right. So, uh, just sucks. You uh, get used to sleeping in comfort, you know, at home. We have a uh, memory foam mattress or, or Tempur-Pedic mattress, and well, I guess that's the same thing, but. Uh, everything was fine and dandy, and then you go camp, and it's like, why am I camping outside on the floor, basically, when uh, we can, you know, be at home and sleep on a basically brand new mattress and in comfort? And but anyway, it, it's all about the it's all about the journey, not about where you're going to. And you know, I've been trying to trying to think about that lately you know going camping and whatnot you know it's not a matter of you know what you have to go through to get there it's it's the journey you know like we bust our ass to go to work and whatnot when you get the vacation that's when you sit back and relax and it's like yeah you know i busted my ass to get this and and uh you know everything we have the truck boat you know, campsite we paid for, you know, everything we paid for. And it was like, this is what we deserve. Now, maybe not being on the ground. I mean, I don't know about that part. But, you know, it, it's just... It feels good to get away. E even if, you know, we're sleeping on the ground or whatever. It's it's, it's good to get away and... And, uh... And enjoy the fresh air, too. Especially on the coast. It was like 90s all day or all week here. When we got back, it was supposed to be a uh, hundred and some, and uh, we got over to the beach, and it was, I mean, it, it wasn't bad at all. It, I think the high was like 70, of course, but you got that coastal air, and the breeze blowing. Oh, it was, it was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better, better trip, though, you know. But, anyway, let's see. So we're at 56. I don't even know where I started at, so I guess, guess I can't really say anything like that. Yeah. Ooh, 270. That'll be a good one. Is that all? I think I'll put the bucket back up here, I think. Uh, let's see. Yes, I did. Let's put them moss mats away. Let's throw this in first. That back in. That one's empty. That one's empty. Cool. Let's throw this one back. Then we won't have to worry about it. There we go. 208. Let's throw that in. Eh, seems like we're getting up there, but I, I doubt we're going to get anything special from it. So we might as well just let that run, go get the pickup. Looks like I'm going to unhook from the diesel tank or fuel trailer, 39%, and that was only the flipping excavator. That's what's really crazy about the whole thing. There we go. Come on. We're going to drive back over to over here, 63.4. So I actually, actually did pretty good. Um, I think we're getting back into our, our uh, gold area. So that's always a benefit. Always a plus. There we go. Let's jump out here. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. Everything's dead. Took this bad mammer jammer up. Get back in the truck. There we go. Now what do I want to do? I could buy another spot. Uh, in, in which, if I did that, um, we could, uh, if we got another spot, we can have everything over here. We do have a small excavator, uh, that we could, uh, get over here and sell it because we don't need it anymore. So we'll probably do that sooner rather than later. That's an extra 7500 bucks that is just sitting there not being used in the storage unit. 
or storage. So we could get rid of that. Let's see here. We should get at least another hundred thousand dollars. Thirty percent would probably thirty ounces, so that'd be give or take thirty forty thousand dollars, give or take. Oh, come on. But yeah, I definitely want to buy the next claim. Just so we're out of that. And then if we don't um, get everything um, bought in the machinery world, what we'll do is we will either move the wash plant over um, and then after we go with the nuggets, then we will buy um, all the machinery that we need or we will start upgrading and go from there. It's a toss-up. Either one. Both of them works. But if we can upgrade, that would be great. But we have absolutely not... We don't have enough money for that. Not yet. I mean, one piece of equipment's a million bucks, which is insane. But we'll get there. Like I said, we got four claims. Now, you can... Re put or di put more dirt into it, like reset it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that entails. I know that Tin Man did it, but I can't remember what he said it was about. So, that being said, here, let's get a good old thumbnail for that. But yeah, I know Tin Man reset Nighthawk, I think, a few times. And he's, but he also has like $20 million. But he has said that he's put more videos on his uh, on his channel. So if you guys want to go check him out, link is in the description below. I think he's still doing some uh, farm sim. I've been so busy recording and everything else. I, I honestly haven't had time to even think about what's going on. Uh, let's see. 40%. No, upgrade. Here we go. 24 24, 52, 20, or 35. Copy. We'll throw that up on the truck. Get out of here. And let's go to the bank right quick. I think I can actually sell them at the house. We'll have to check that out because eventually, as soon as we don't have to pay rent on anything, eventually I'll just let it build up. You know, we won't sell it or anything until we have to. So that wouldn't be too terribly bad. Here, let's see. Let's. For, oh, how much loan can I take anyway? Seven hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Look at this daily payment of three hundred and fifty-two thousand. But you would have to get to make it even reasonable seventy-five thousand dollars. But you would pay back over one point eight million. That is insane. What is the stock looking like? Eleven, eleven ninety. That's not bad. Hundred and eighteen thousand dollars for a hundred and five thousand. There we go. Three hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars two clean outs per day, give or take. That ain't bad at all. Yes, I know, but I'm back on the app or dirt, so you're fine. Alright, let's see. Let's go get this thing. And of course I you know bought that or rented that out. How much is this again? 87. Now we could buy it when it's cheaper. I know it's cheaper during about the winter time. That's 21,000. We should buy that anyway. Now what is the planner? Is this the planner? Or that's Oh, that's the planner. 213 each. I think that's level 2 or 3 No, tier 4. And of course that was 1.29 million. I definitely want one of these. That's going to have to be next season. That's 220 or 278. That's 500. Man, could you imagine if you had that one and that one? Whew. Man, I tell you what. What was I going to buy? Okay, this. Let's just get this. We're not going to rent it. We're just going to buy it because we're going to need it sooner rather than later. This one's insanely 155. So we're gonna buy that one. That one's twenty thousand. Of course, that one went up to eighty-six. How much is this? One hundred and twenty-three. Uh, 
if I can afford it, let's do it. Just so we'll get rid of... That is 301,000? There we go. And uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? What I want to do is I want to... Oh, here, let's upgrade $30,000, of course. And we're going to sell that one. We should have enough money in the bank to warrant that. But we will not pay as much rent. So anyway, I will take a thumbnail, or take a picture or whatever, uh, and, and then tell you guys what all we're spending tonight since we just bought the um, fuel trailer, and then we just bought the um, dump truck, and then we bought the front loader. The dump truck, I think, is like five grand a day or something like that, so... Uh, or three to five thousand dollars a day so that's going to knock our rent down quite a bit the only really thing that's killing us right now is not even rent or machinery rent it's the freaking gold pro provisions that's what's really killing us but anyway thank you guys so much for liking commenting, and subscribing i'll catch you all in the next one i have some editing and, re and uh uploading to do and getting everything all ready so hopefully i'll see you guys next time in the next video again thank you much for all the all you do I'll catch you all in the next one, and you all take care.